Hello everybody, last time in the last video I was telling you about that awesome feature how to add the store to your website. Well today we're going to show you how to do bookings. So maybe you have somebody wanting to come in and take a look at your business and you want them to book this, right? Well today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, so if you want to catch us on our next videos and make sure you don't miss any other awesome videos that we have, then be sure to hit subscribe and comment and drop me on what you think. Alright, so if you look back to our wonderful Add Feature button, we go to Bookings, here you go. You have your Featured Services, your Service List, your Book button, your Timetable, your Staff Members, and the related elements, you're going to have the Health Waiver, right? So depending on what kind of business you're doing. So for now, let's take a look at the Featured Service. So again, as in the last videos I was always showing you, you can either click it, double click, it pulls up, or drag and drop. Everything here is very simple, just like everything else. So let's just drag and drop that featured service. Here we go. Let's see, let it load for just one moment. All right, and we're going to drag and drop. All right, so here we go. And here is that featured service, Style My Ride, Consultation book now so just like anything uh, when we're showing you when you have that featured service or when you're doing uh, the templates for any of the buttons or add features you can of course always go through and edit it so at the top on this page you're gonna see manage services the settings and you can stretch it from this page so you can either click this and it will let you stretch it all the way across the slide uh, or you can actually just stretch it yourself for how you want it and see there you go and from top to bottom the same it doesn't really change much so for now uh, let's click on manage services give it just a moment to load click 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 and it's going to take us back to our dashboard you remember that awesome dashboard right the store products store orders everything your blog that we added last time remember well you're going to find your booking services here as well Bring your services online with Wix and Zoom. Services one, style my ride. All right, so here's, it's already preset for you. Of course, if you want to change it, you can. You can click add a new service here at the very top or right down here on the bottom. And you have your more actions so you can create a coupon. You can manage your staff, accept payments and update your booking settings. Uh, so let's click add. Is your service one-on-one -on -one for multiple participants? Let's just say one-on-one. -on -one. Right, so we're going to make it on private. All right, and untitled service. So you just click, it highlights, you can run it. Uh, and let's just say wheel shine because we're showing about cars, wheel shine. And you can click your add image, your subtitle, wheel wash. Let's just say wheel wash, right? Wheel wash. And give your description. Da 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 da. This is what this is doing cleaning the tires, cleaning the rims. Uh, we are using this for giving that, right? And you can give your media as well. So if you want to show uh, additional picture or you want to do a link, hyperlink, the same full. You can do a cover image. There's service gallery. So just like if on our last videos we were just telling you about the galleries, this is the same thing but for your bookings. Uh, the service type, appointment, class, if you're giving a class or a course, whichever you want, again, uh, service detail, you can say 1 hour, uh, 15 minutes, 30, 45, and you can custom make this as well. If you want custom, you can make it like 7 hours, right? I hope that a wheel service doesn't take 7 hours, but of course you can. So let's delete. 7 hours, blah, blah, blah. You can add a buffer time, 10 minutes, etc. Staff member. So if you remember, I showed you how to add the team members you can actually say, hey, this is the person that's doing it from your team, right? How cool is that? You can hear on the price per session, course, the service, whichever, anything that you're doing, you can fix the price. Uh, you can say a fixed price or a custom price or no fee. Uh, if you're doing a coupon or if you're doing a free service on this, there you go. Add the address. You can even make it so if they have some questions, you can do a video conferencing with like Zoom or Skype. Again, it's yours. The pricing plans. Uh, let clients book this service with a plan. Additional settings, set payment preferences, customize your booking so you can do like PayPal, whichever you would like. 
right? And this is the uh, adding. So I want to save, right? Here, we're missing some information. Make sure you fill out the required fields. Amount, let's say $7, right? And it's going to save, and we have a new service. Next step, set up payment methods. Uh, I'm not going to set this up just now, but it's pretty simple, pretty easy. And you can upgrade if you would like. It's just giving us that option. And there you go. So you can either add it yourself, do something pretty simple uh, with like the template, or you can just completely do it for yourself. You can add your pictures, etc. And this is, well, this is exactly the dashboard for it that you're going to do everything. Just like here, you can find your content manager, right? Your finances, your customer management, all of it is same place dashboard. It's going to be your best friend without a question. Uh, let's see. So you have the more actions, right? You can create a coupon. Let's create a coupon. I'll let it load. Uh, once you've had a coupon, you'll see it here. So let's say discount, percent, let's do dollar, coupon code. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Discount, $5. Apply to choose one. All services. We can do it from this date here, uh, which is today. Uh, don't set end date. If you want to set an end date, there you go. Limit the total number of uses for this coupon. Uh, you probably want to do that. So let's just say one. And we'll create a coupon. And there you go. $5 off all services. How cool is that? And it has a code for you. And there you've just created your own coupon. Pretty cool, right? All right, so let's exit out. And you can go to your main menu, the store products, store orders, and well, that's the dashboard. So set my ride. <clears throat> let's go back to add. And when you go to bookings, of course, the service list. When you click this, uh, let's get rid of this just for a moment. Let's see, we're going to undo just to get it out of the way. We made some changes. Here we go. Just delete it. Add back to bookings. And we're going to service list. We want the service list now. If you notice, I just clicked on it. I didn't drag and drop this time. But again, I, I prefer to drag and drop, but I want to show you guys. So remember when we created that, ex that extra service? Well, here you see it here on the page, immediately on the page. Uh, so here, uh, now the manage services, the settings. When you click on the settings, uh, let's see, customize the widget. Let's do that. And you can remove one, right? Let's see, we're going to remove that. The layouts in here, just like how all of the other settings on the ad features, you have this available here, side by side. You have the overlapping. Uh, you have it just in the strip. Uh, let's see, you can have max cards per row. Let's say we'll leave it at five. Card spacings, you're changing it. The layout, you have the square, or you can make it round. You make it rectangle. And there you go, service alignments. There you go. Pretty, pretty simple. Changing the text, just like in the other features that we were going over in the last videos, you're going to see uh, where you can change the color of the font. You Remember the gallery? Same, exactly the same thing. Nothing changes. So you have your colors, your fonts, your spacings, the border lines, all of this you can change and update. And so you can manage, uh, manage services, and it's going to take you straight back to the dashboard. You can do it all straight from here on the page without having to jump back and forth uh, to the add button, etc. Right, so we serviced it, and it's going to show right here. You can upgrade, of course, and you can stretch. Remember when I told you about the stretch, you can do it with your hand. We're going to do it at the full width of the screen. There you go. And when you do this, you can do the margins, right? And kind of set it just a little bit. Maybe you don't want it quite much. But I do prefer to do it by hand and just stretch it with the mouse. So it's, again, it's whichever you want. When you're looking down here, remember, once you create your bookings, you don't have to go back to the add button and then you have to scroll down. No, you don't have to do that. So here, remember my blog? That's the tab for my blog. The media, Facebook, everything that we did on the previous videos for the media, the Facebook, the Instagram. Click here, it takes you straight there. The blog, that's your tab. My store, the bookings. Uh, for here, this is exactly it. Bookings manager. Manage services. There you go, that's it. And you can add booking elements the same way. And that's, remember, the featured services, the service list, all of it's going to show up right here. And you can add just a book now if you're telling about something in a strip, if you create your custom strip. 
do that. And again, if you remember anchors, add the anchor to the button. Once they click this, it's going to take you straight to the page uh, to start booking. That's it. Simple. Very good. And the same, remember the animation, if you want it to scroll onto the side, fade in, drop in, whichever that you want to use. There you go. That's about as simple as anyone can ever ask for. So you are the professional with Wix.com. No need to pay for it. You, if you've been following the videos, you're going, you, you see how simple it is. All right, guys. So this is it for bookings. That's everything. Now, uh, of course, remember, just like on the other pictures, the media, the gallery, all change the pictures if you want it from the template. Or as I just showed you, you can do it from yourself, adding the pictures, writing, typing, pricing, everything from the bookings manager. Alright guys, I hope you like, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow us on our next videos where we're going to show you some more awesome ad features such as the events booking. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and don't forget to hit us up.